Today we delve into the world of the Elder Scroll 6. It's been a hot topic for years, and I've got the latest scope plus a wild twist you might not see coming. Let's dive into the future. First up, let's talk about when we can expect the Elder Scroll 6 to grace our screen. Sources say we're looking at not early than 2026 for its release. After the wild wind that was Skyrim, Bethesda got big boots to fill. With their focus recently shifting from Starfield, the Elder Scrolls 6 is still in the early stages for, of development, but promises to be worth the wait. Where will the epic take us next? The teaser trailer hints at Hammerfell, or High Rock, with its rugged mountain and arid landscapes. But hey, but there's the no for surprises. Maybe we'll even see multiple regions or entire continents like in the Elder Scrolls Online. The suspense is killing us. What about gameplay and story? We're expecting the same immersive RPG experience, possibly with the new races and intricate narratives full of political intrigue. Batista aims to keep us exploring and questing for a decade at least. That's a lot of adventuring. Imagine the Elder Scrolls 6 introducing a groundbreaking time travel feature. You're not just roaming the vast landscape of Tamriel, but also weaving through its rich history. Picture this, one moment you're in the thriving heart of the Seth Empire, and the next you're witnessing the fall of the Dwemer. This mechanic could allow players to influence events, leading to multiple timelines. Perhaps your action could even prevent the eruption of Red Mountain or the Oblivion Crisis. It's not just a game, it's a journey through ages of Tamriel. That's the latest on the Elder Scrolls 6 with a fantastic twist of time travel. Could you imagine the that it would add to the gameplay and story, navigating through historical events, altering timeline, and experiencing the consequence of your choice across era? It's an Elder Scrolls fan's dream. What are your thoughts on this time travel concept? Would it be a hit or a miss? Share your opinion in the comments. We got a special treat for you. A deep dive into the much anticipated Blue Fantasy Relink. A game that's set to redefine our expectation of fantasy RPGs. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and now let's embark on an epic journey into the heart of the Sky Realm where adventure beacon and legends are born. Mark your calendar folks, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink is launching globally on February 1, 2024 for PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 and PC. It's been a journey filled with anticipation and excitement. From the creators at Sigmas, oh, woven interact tells and breathtaking words come a new chapter in a saga that has captured the hearts of millions. It's almost time to set into this game adventure and discover the secrets of the Sky Realm. Attention Grand Blue fans, it's time to delve into the treasure trove of Grand Blue Fantasy Relink Edition. First up, the Sonder Edition price at a generous 59.99 cents. Offer more than just a game, it includes a special item set designed to enhance your journey in the Sky Realm. Next, for our North American adventure, we have Deluxe Edition at 99.99 cents. This edition is a collector dream. Feature an ex exquisite art book filled with stunning visual, a melody soundtrack CD, a set of unique postcards, and more. But for those who seek the pinnacle of Grand Book Collectible, behold the Collector Edition price at 179. This ultimate package boasts a magnificent proto Bahamut figure, a sword of Eos metal charm, and all the Daleks goodie. Each edition is crafted to add a unique journey into the world of Grand Blue, making them irresistible to fans and collectors alike. Grand Blue Fantasy Relink is not just a game, it's a doorway to a realm of endless adventure. Always to be one of the standout RPG of 2024. It invites you into a world where every corner is alive with dangers and wonder. Face off against the furious primal beasts, engage in epic battle that will test your mental 
and immerse yourself in a storyline rich with intrigue and heroism. With over 100 quests, including pulse bounding in game content, your journey will be as boundless as the Skyrim itself. Wherever you choose to brave these challenges solo or join force with friends in exhilarating online play, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink promises an adventure that will linger in your memory long after you put down the controller. Now let's dive into the melody world of Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, where each note and voice breath life into the Sky Realm. The game featured the enchanting official team song Good Night, Good Morning by the talented Nayo Toyama, who also lends her voice to the beloved character Lyria. Prepare to be captivated by the harmonious blend of music and storytelling. As top notch voice acting bring each character journey to life, from the shooting melody to the powerful battle theme. Every aspect of the soundtrack promises to be an auditory feast that will transport you right into the heart of Grand Blue Epic Saga. Now let's step into the arena of Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, where combat is as vibrant as it is thrilling. Choose from a roster of skilled warriors, each with a unique fighting style. The game elevates combat to an art from emphasizing synergy between characters, a leash stunning link attack, and devastating chain bursts that turn the tide of back. And for those new to the genre, fear not, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink introduced two assist modes, making it accessible to veteran and newcomer alike. Prepare for a combat experience that is both intuitive and deeply satisfying. Now the exploration. Exploration lies at the heart of Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Journey through large open area, each brimming with secrets and challenges. The Sky Realm is a world waiting to be discovered, where every step leads to a new adventure and hidden treasure. The game exploration is designed to be both approachable and rewarding, ensuring that every journey is as exciting as the destination. From lunch forests to ancient ruins, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink offer a world rich in detail and wonder, inviting players to lose themselves in its vastness. So, are you itching to dive into the Sky Realm? Well, get ready to soar because there have been more exciting news. In January 2024, a special demo of Grand Blue Fantasy Relink will be released for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. This isn't just any teaser. It's substantial slice of the main story and quest, giving you real tests of the adventure that waits. And here is the best part. Completing the demo isn't just for bragging right, it's a lock exclusive reward in the full game, giving you a, a head start in your epic journey. And hold on, because the excitement doesn't stop at launch. In April 2024, get ready for post launch updates that will introduce new playable characters like Twin and Seofen, expanding your adventure and strategy. The world of Grand Blue Fantasy Relink is ever growing, and this update promises to keep the game fresh and thrilling. And there you have it, adventures, new complete kid to the magnificent world of Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. From breathtaking battle to exploration of uncharted realms, this game is set to take us on an unforgettable journey. Are you ready to embark on this grand adventure? Will you be a pioneer in the demo? Or are you gearing up for the full release? Share your excitement and plans in the comments below. We've got some spicy rumors about Dragon Dogma 2. And trust me, you're gonna want to hear this. So grab your controller, sit back and let's get into it. First thing first. Dragon Dogma is on the horizon, and the hype is surreal, but hold your horses because there are some rumors floating around that might be a bit of a bummer for console players. Let's talk frame rate. Word on the street is that Dragon Dogma 2 might not hit that sweet 60 FPS on PlayStation or Xbox. Yeah, you heard it right, we might be looking at 30 FPS and there is no word on a 60 FPS performance mode coming soon. For the tech heads out there, this is a big deal, especially since we used to seeing smoother frame rates in AAA title these days. 
Now, let's shift here to the fast travel system. If you played the first game, you know it was a bit tricky with those one use, furry souls, and Portic Russell. Look like Dragon Dogma 2 is keeping that system, which might be a headache for both old fan and the new players. Remember the Dark Arisen version with that unlimited eternal fairy stone? Well, we're not sure if we'll get something like that this time. And here is another kick. The game is rumored to have just one save slot. That's right, just one for RPG fans who love experimenting with different classes and builds. This may be a bit of a letdown. Sure, the first game did the same, but time had challenge and gamers expect more flexibility now. Alright, let's talk release dates. Dragon Dogma 2 is set to launch on March 22. There is a lot riding on this release, especially with these rumored li limitations. While the limited fast travel, the 30 FPS frame rate, and the single save slot impact the game reception, only time will tell. And there is a bit of hope, maybe just maybe, Capcom might add the performance mode later on. But from what we heard, don't hold you. So what do you think? Are these potential drawbacks going to affect your excitement for Dragon's Dogma 2? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Today I've got something exciting for you on Joystick News. We're diving into the world of Corsair Legacy, a pirate action RPG that's been making some waves recently. So let's hoist the sails and see what this game is all about. First thing first, Corsair Legacy launched into early access on January 30, 2024. This means the game's still shaping up and the developers are tweaking things based on player feedback. It's a big project for the devs at Morris and they're really putting their hearts into it. The game is a blend of action, adventure, RPG elements, and of course some gripping simulation aspects that bring the pirate life to your screen. Now let's talk about the gameplay. Corsair Legacy promised an open world experience filled with sea battles, island exploration, and intriguing plot. Imagine navigating the treacherous water of the Caribbean, engaging in naval combat, and in covering hidden treasures and secrets. The game setting during the golden age of piracy adds to its charm, offering a rich historical backdrop for your adventure. However, it's crucial to note that the game received mixed reaction from players. The early access version has a mostly negative reception on Steam, with only 27% of the review being positive. This could be due to various factors like bugs, gameplay mechanics, or maybe it's just not meet some players' expectations yet. Remember, it's still early access, so there is room for improvement. The game supports a variety of languages, including English, Russian, French, German, and several other languages, making it accessible to a global audience. Plus, it's boost a range of steam achievement to a lot, add an extra layer of challenge and accomplishments for players. So why should you pay attention to Corsair Legacy? Well, if you're a fan of pirate-themed game and open-world RPGs, this game offers an immersive experience that's still evolving. It's a chance to be part of the game development journey and see how it transforms over time. Plus, who doesn't like a good old swashbuckling adventure, right? In conclusion, while Corsair Legacy might have a rocky start, it's a game with potential. If you're curious, it might be worth checking out the demo and seeing for yourself if it's your cup of tea. And remember, in the world of gaming, sometimes the most unexpected titles turn into cult favorites. So, Keep an open mind and maybe give Corsair Legacy a shot. News Today we're diving into the cosmos of gaming news with a spotlight on Stellar Blade, the PS5 exclusive that's been on every action RPG lover's radar. Mark your calendars because on April 26, 2024, the gaming universe is set to expand with what could be a new benchmark for the genre. So, why everyone buzzing about Stellar Blade? Imagine a game that marries the finest of Nier Automata with the grace of Bayonetta 
and the precision of Sekiro. That's a recipe for a gaming feast, right? From the moment Chef Tap teases us with its sci-fi setting and dynamic combat, we know something special was on the horizon. And after a bit of delay, yeah, it was supposed to drop in 2023. But hey, good things take time. We finally got a solid date to circle in our calendars. But let's talk about the protagonist of Solar Blade, because she's not just any character. The developers used a real-life model to bring Eve, our hero, to life, adding a layer of realism and connection to a game that promised to be more than your average action package journey. It all started as Project Eve back in 2019, but with a fresh gameplay trailer and a snazzy new name in built in September 2022, PlayStation State of Play, it's clear that Cellar Blade is gearing up to be heavy here in the gaming world. Now for the pre-order perks, because who doesn't love bonuses? If you look in your copy of Solar Blade starting February 7, you snag Eve's planet diving suit, classic round glasses, and ear armor earring. And if you're feeling extra, the Digital Deluxe Edition pack a bunch with exclusive outfits, accessories, and a nice chunk of in a game currency to give you a head start. But let's dig deeper into what makes Solar Blade tick. The latest trailer didn't just show off the game slick combat, it gave us a glimpse into story of survival, determination, and the fight to reclaim our planet. A humanity last bastion. Eve, a member of Paratrooper Squad, takes on the mission to defeat the Elder Naitiba and wrest Earth back from the clutches of the Naitiba invaders. Following a disaster that wipes out her team, Eve alongside characters like Adam from Earth and survivors from Xeon, the last human city, embark on a journey filled with quest challenges and the dream to rebuild what was lost. Stellar Blade isn't just promising a semi-open world to explore, it's offering a deep narrative that could set apart from other games. The game setting, Zion isn't just a hub, it's a symbol of hope, a base from which Eve launches her quest to turn the tide against the Naitiba. This blend of storytelling, exploration, and combat has the potential to make Stellar Blade a standout title in the PS5 lines up. So, the big question is, Stellar Blade the next big thing for the PS5 and the action RPG genre? From what we've seen, it's got all the right ingredients, a compelling story, engaging combat, and a visual stunning world. But as always, the proof will be in the playing. What do you think, squad? Are you ready to dive into the world of Stellar Blade? Are you enjoying the Eve's fight for Earth? Let's share in the comments below your thoughts, your hopes, and where are you pre-ordering to snag those bonuses? We've got something super exciting to talk about. It's a game called Hellcard. Stick around because this game is a real treat, especially if you like games where you have to think and make smart moves. Alright, picture this, you're exploring dungeons, but not just any dungeon. These are made from paper, and they're full of monsters. Your mission? Beat the big bad arc demon. But here is the catch, you're going to use cards to fight. It's like a mix of card game and an adventure all rolled into one. Sound cool, right? What cool feature have health cards? So, we're gonna talk about the battle. In this game, where you place your monster and how you play your cards really, really matters. It's not just about what cards you have, but how you use them. Also, you can play with friends. You don't have to go there alone. You can team up with two other players and tackle those dungeons together. And if you don't have friends to play with, no worries, the game can pair you with AI companion. And also there is always new chapter. If you heard of played Book of Demon before, then think of Hellcard as the next adventure in that story. It's like getting to see what happened next in book series you love. So why I think you should keep an eye on Hellcard? Because this game is different. This isn't just any card game. It's about strategy, thinking ahead and working together with your team. It's fun with friend also, everything better with friend, okay? This game lets you share the fun and strategy with your buddies. And this game has a deep, deep story. For those who love a good story, 
her card dives deeper in a cool paper crafted world. So guys, Hell card is shaping up to be an awesome game for anyone who loves a bit of strategy, teamwork and a good story. It's a good title, bit of everything. What do you think? Are you excited to check out Hell Cards? Do you think you and your friend could take on those dungeons together? Let us know in the comments below. Dragon Dogma 2 And oh boy, do we have some juicy details to share with you? Of course yeah. Directed by the legendary Hideki Titsuno, this game is shaping up to be an adventure of epic proportions. So, grab your gear and let's explore the big updates coming to its NPCs, making the world of Grances more alive than ever before. First off, Itsuno-san has split the bean on how the NPC system has been massively overhauled to deliver a more authentic and immersive gameplay experience. Remember the pawn system from the first game? Well, it's making a comeback, but with some significant enhancement. Your NPC assistants are not just followers anymore. They are set to become a vibrant part of your journey through the game's vast landscape. Dragon Dogma NPC are now capable of forming a relationship not only with you, the player, but with each other too. This dynamic interaction system is a game changer folks. Imagine walking into a town where every character has their own life, relationships and reactions to your actions. Itsuno-san gives a tantalizing example. If you wrong one NPC who's part of your deal, both will remember your actions and reactions accordingly. And if you do a good deed to for a child, their parents may just become a newfound ally. This level of details promises to make every play true, unique and deeply personal. But wait, there is more. The character creation tools in Dragon's Dogma 2 have received a significant update. Thanks to the advancement in technology, Itsuna Sun emphasized that players can now spend even more time customizing their player character and bones, crafting highly details and unique companion for their adventure. The possibilities are endless, allowing you to truly leave your mark on the game's world. And here is a fun twist. NPCs that grow close to you might just drop by you in a game home for a visit. But be warned, if two such character meet, sparks could fly leading to an expected draw right in your living room. Itsuno-san with a hint of amusement suggests that players might want to manage their NPC relationship carefully to avoid these domestic disputes. It's quirky and innovative feature that's add a whole new level of depth to the game's social dynamics. With Dragon Dogma 2, Capcom is pushing the boundaries of what we expect from NPC and video games. This upgrades promise to make the world more realistic, where every interaction and relationship adds to the richness of the game narrative tapestry. As we eagerly await its release in 2024, one thing's for certain, the adventures that await in Grances are looking more immersive and personal than ever. So, what do you think about this NPC upgrades in Dragon Dogma 2? Are you excited to dive into the improved world of Grances and forge your own tales of friendship, rivalry, and perhaps a little drama along the way? Drop your thoughts in the comments below Dragon's Dogma 2, a title that's stirring up a storm of anticipations among RPG enthusiasts, with its release date itching closer, let's reveal the mysteries and marvels that's awaiting this epic sequel. Imagine a class that allows you to blend the art of swordplay with the craft of magic, all while tricking your foes with cunning illusions. That's the warfare for you. Folks, the ultimate chameleon of the battlefield. This vocation is a master of adaptation, wielding a great sword one moment and channeling devastating spells the next. But remember, 
with great powers came great responsibilities. The warfare's versatility demands skill and strategy to truly shine. Our journey in Dragon's Dogma 2 is just not about battling foes, but also about learning from the best. The vocation masters are seasoned warriors scattered across the world, each a master of their craft. From the courageous fire vocation master to the wandering mystic spear hand, this expert holds the key to unlocking your full potential. For strong bonds with them, earn their approval, and you might just find yourself welding powers beyond imagination. Now, let's delve into something darker. The Dragon's Plague. This mysterious illness waves a new layer of intrigue into our adventure. Affecting pawns under mysterious conditions, this plague boosts their ability while altering their behavior, presenting a double-edged sword for the player. Will you seek a cure or exploit this newfound strength? The choice is yours. So, dear viewers, as we gear up for the release of Dragon Dogma 2 on March 22, let's prepare to embrace the warfare within, seek out the wisdom of vacation masters and reveal the secret of the dragon's plague in foretold witch stone. This isn't just any RPG, it's a CRPG crafted with insights from none other than Ed Greenwood himself, the legendary mind behind the iconic Forgotten Realms. So grab your spellbook and sharpen your swords, we are about to embark on a journey where your choices shape the destiny of an entire world. Imagine a game where every decision you make ripples through its universe, altering the fate of its inhabitants and factions. In Foretold Witch Stone offered just that. Set in a meticulously detailed universe of Calcondia, you'll join force with a party of adventurers, navigating through a narrative where your actions have real weight. Wherever you choose to show chaos, unite against tyranny, or carve your path as a conqueror, your journey will be uniquely yours. What's an RPG without deep character customization and thrilling tactical combat? In Foretold Witch Stones, take it to the next level. From your appearance to your abilities, every detail can be tailored to your playstyle. And when it's come to combat, whatever you prefer stealth or going in sword blazing, the choice is yours. Just remember, the role of the dice is what decide your fate in that tabletop inspired world. Currently in early access, in foretold which stone is about half-baked but brimming with potentials. The developers are keen on using this period to refine the game's unique influence system, sandbox RPG mechanics, and overall gameplay loop, aiming for about a year of player feedback and development. It's a chance for us, the players, to help shape this intriguing world into something even more extraordinary. If you've been yearning for an RPG that feels both familiar and fresh, with the lore depth of Forgotten Realms and the tactical charm of CRPGs, and foretold which stone is calling your name. So, what are you waiting for? A jump into in foretold which stone and start crafting your legacy in the lands of Calsondia. And remember, adventurer in a world where your choices have the power to change everything. What kind of hero will you become? Punishers, Ghost of New Eden, brought to life by the creative mind at Don't Node and published by Focus Entertainment. This action RPG is gearing up to take us on a ghostly adventure like no other. Set your calendars for February 13, 2024, because whatever you're playing on PlayStation 5, Windows, or Xbox Series X has this one journey you won't want to miss. At its heart, Banishers Ghost of New Eden pulls us into the mysterious world of New Eden through the eyes of Antia Duarte and Red Mac Ray. Partners not just in ghost hunting, but in life. 
their story takes a dark turn when Auntie A is transformed into a ghost, the very thing she's been fighting against. Together, they're on a mission that's bigger than any they've faced before. It's not just about hunting spirits anymore, it's about saving Auntie A from a curse that changed her very existence. Imagine being bound by more than your mission, fighting side by side with someone you care about, only to find that one of you has crossed over to the other side. Punisher's Ghost of New Eden is not just about the scars of the fight, it's a story of love, sacrifice, and the land we go to save those who matter most. As Antia and Red traverse hunting of New Eden, they face challenges that test their resolve, their relationship, and their very humanity. This game is a third-person action RPG that brings a fresh twist to ghost hunting. You're not just battling specters with cool weapons, you're delving into a narrative where every choice can turn the tide of your story. As you explore the shadowy corners of New Eden, you encounter spirits with stories that tug at your heart, challenging you to make decisions that could alter the fate of both the living and the dead. So, mark your calendar for the launch of Banishers Ghosts of New Eden on February 13, 2024. Whatever you hear for the action-packed battle, the rich storytelling, or the chance to explore a world filled with mysteries and dangers, this game promises an adventure that's as heartwarming as it thrilling, Pixel Noir. Brought to us by the talented folks at SWD Tech Games, Pixel Noir is a detective GRPG that invites you into the dark and mysterious world of Pinnacle City. As a rocky detective, you'll entangle a web of conspiracy, navigate gangland turf war, and maybe, just maybe, get double-crossed by a figure from your shadowy past. Imagine combining the storytelling and dialogue of a classic film noir with the turn-based combat and exploration of SNES-era RPGs like Chrono Trigger and Earthbound. That's pixel noir. Explore city streets, solve interact mysteries, and upgrade your arsenal as you uncover Pinnacle City darkest secrets. Every detective need their tools, and in Pixel Noir you'll find tune of weapons to fit your playstyle. Dive into classic turn-based combat with a twist, timed hit and blocks, add a layer of skill and strategy that's keep you on your toes. Team up with allies for devastating combos that take down the toughest of foes. But it's not all about the brawls. Use your investigation skills to reveal hidden items and crucial clues. Pinnacle City is a riff with mysteries waiting to be solved, and your detective prowse is a key to unlocking them. From dark alleys to the underbelly of the city black markets, every corner of this pixelated noir world is backed with, in with intrigue. The co-founder of SWD Tech Games envisions Pixel Noir as a tribute to adults fan of GRPGs, blending a greedy narrative with nostalgic gameplay. It's a love letter to the golden era of RPG. Reimagine the true noir lands and we're here for it. So, are you ready to don your detective hat and explore the noir-filled streets of Pinnacle City? Pixel Noir is calling for all fans of RPG. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Telus Zone Zero is officially in development for the PS5. Brought to us by Hoyoverse, the mastermind behind Genshin Impact and Honkei Star Rail, Zealous Zone Zero is set to redefine the urban-themed action RPG genre. And folks, from what we've seen in the latest Sony State of Play livestream, it's shaping up to be the nothing short of spectacular. Set in the concrete jungle of New Eridu, humanity lasts. Fortress, Zanless Zone Zero plunges player into the role of a proxy. It's your job 
to shred Asian through these hollows, navigating semi-randomized dungeons to collect resource, reno and treasure. And let me tell you, the real-time combat system, it's as stylish as it gets, filled with condor and combo that Hoyoverse is renowned for. Plus, the game offers a deep dive into New Erido Metropolis, allowing players to forge relationships, interact with inhabitants, and yes, even manage a video store. What truly captivating about Zelda's Zone Zero is its blend of thrilling action combat with herbal life gameplay. Imagine exploring the city, solving mysteries, and customizing where to fit your battle strategy. It's an urban fantasy ARPG that promises dynamic music, unique art style, and a narrative that's delved deep into the mystery behind New Eridu and The Hollows. The PS5 cutting edge technology is said to bring this enchanting virtual world to life like never before, offering an immersive experience as players engage in thrilling battles against the Hollows. With no formal launch date announced yet, Zelda Zone Zero is also being developed for mobile devices and PC, featuring cross save between all platforms. It's a game that stylishly bridges the gap between action veterans and the newcomers alike. Are you as excited as we are for Zelda Zone Zero? Let us know in the comments below.